everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I'll bet you have everything you need for today's project in your stash. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to drop by. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and friends. Thank you guys so much for the awesome way in which you support me and my channel. Today, just like yesterday, I'm using my stash and I am going to be crafting something that is oh so useful and it truly is any season, any reason, anyone. This is one of those things that we can always use. And here's what I'm talking about. We're going to make this tower box trio. I'll give you a closer look in just a minute. And this truly is going to be something that we make from scratch, including our bow, which I demoed this style in a previous video, as well as the little curly cues hanging off the front. This is going to be so stinking cute and so stinking easy. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. And so here is a closer look at today's awesome project. Like I said, this is one of those things that you can always use, whether it's for a wedding shower gift or a baby shower gift or a birthday gift. A box tower is always unique and also welcome. So when finished, we'll have a box at the bottom that measures nine by four and it's one and a half inches deep. The middle box is eight by one by three and a half. The top box is six by two and a half by one. So these are very nice and sizable to be able to place our gifts. I have my stack held together using my repositionable tape. So you're able to remove whichever box it is you want from this stack. We have the most adorable little paper curly Q ribbon and I'll show you how I made this as well as our loopy bow for the top. And I'll show you how we make this. So here's what we're going to need to make it. For my adhesive, I'll be using my glue to put the box together and repositionable tape to hold the three boxes together. And then I have two strips that measure a quarter of an inch by 12. We are going to have eight pieces for the bow that measure five by one. We'll have a piece that measures eight by eight a piece that measures 10 by 10, and a piece that measures 12 by 12. These are all medium to heavy weight cardstock in order to make the boxes. So we want a little bit of firmness to them. So I would recommend using at least a medium weight to get the firmness to the box. And then if you're going to be stacking them and you're stacking something heavy, go ahead and add a reinforcement piece and I'll show you that as well. So the first thing that we'll be doing is we're going to go ahead and score all of our boxes. So we're going to start with the 12 by 12. And with the 12 by 12, we score at one and one half on all four sides. We'll do that first. So that's one and one half on all four sides. And then we'll score on one side only at five and a quarter. and at six and three quarters. And that's the large box. So again, we scored at one and a half on all four sides. Then on one side only, we scored at five and a quarter and at six and three quarters. Then we're going to take our 10 by 10 inch box and we're going to score at one on all four sides. And then on one side only, we're going to score at four and a half and at five and a half. So we scored at four on all four sides. And then on one side only, we went back and scored at four and a half and at five and a half. Then we're going to take that eight by eight inch piece and we're going to do the same thing. Score at one inch on all four sides. And then on one side only, we score at three and a half and at four and a half. So on that eight by eight inch piece, we scored at one on all four sides. Then on one side only, 
we went back and we scored at three and a half and we scored at four and a half. And that's it for our scores. And so now I'm going to bring in my big old spatula and we're going to go ahead and fold and burnish all of these before moving on to the next step. So there is my eight by eight. I'll bring in that 10 by 10. And so there's the 10 by 10. We'll bring in the 12 by 12. And we're doing the same thing. We are just folding and burnishing on all of our scores. So now that we have all of our scores folded and burnished, we're going to do the same process on all three of these boxes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to free up the center fold tab right here. So I'll go up to the score mark and drag straight down. And then I'll angle in, angle a little bit, and then I'll reduce. And by doing this, you can now see that we have a box top and a box bottom. So we're going to go ahead and do the same steps on all three. And that way, when you see it done in repetition, it just becomes second nature. So we're going to go to that middle. And then we angle. Angle. And then reduce. We'll go to the middle here. Cut down. Cut down, angle, angle, and reduce. Or we'll do the same thing with the eight by eight. Go to the score mark and cut down, cut down, angle in, angle in, and reduce. Last one, and we'll angle in here, angle in here, and then we'll reduce. So now we have all three pieces like this. I'm going to move these to the side because we're going to go ahead and free the tabs on this end so that we can put the box together. So with the box facing you and these tabs facing out, we'll go to that corner tab and we'll cut down angle in and angle there slightly. Same thing here. Go to that tab and cut down. Angle in and angle. And it'll look like this. Now we can go ahead and turn it to this side because this is the same step. I'm going to cut straight down. Angle and angle. Same thing over here, straight down, angle, and angle. So there is one piece ready to be put together. So we'll bring in this piece and we'll follow the same process with it facing you and these tabs facing out. We're going to go to the first score mark here, drag down, angle, and do a slight angle coming in. And we'll do the same thing over here. Drag straight down, angle, and then angle. Turn it, and let's do the same thing over here. And the same thing over here. Drag down, angle, angle. So that's our second piece, and we'll do the larger piece, the 12 by 12, in the exact same way. So with it facing you, these facing out, we cut down this way. 
So we'll go up to that score mark, drag straight down, angle, and angle. Same thing on this side, drag straight down, angle, and angle. Turn it, same thing on this side. And then our last one. So we go to that score mark, drag straight down, angle, and angle. So now we have our pieces ready to be put together. We are going to take these pieces and we're going to glue them to this piece. So I'll take my glue. Because this is a tower box, I am using glue and not tape because it'll probably have some weight to it and we want to make sure that the box or the adhesive can support that weight. So I am just joining those ends, get it stuck with my big old spatula, and then I'll take my glue place it on these flaps and we will join it to this piece that we folded the front. And I'll go in, get that nice and stuck. We're going to do the same thing here. So let me fold that back just a little bit so that you can see I have that nice and straight. We'll place it down and get it stuck. And then we'll take our glue and place our glue on those last flaps. And we are just going to join it by making sure we have nice, even corners, nice, crisp, even corners. Same thing over here. And you can already tell by the print on this box, it's going to be a nice, fun box. So that's our lid, and we just fold it over, and there we have box number one. We follow the same process with the remaining two boxes. We are just adding our glue, and we join the box together at the tab. And I think I need for this to be the top because the flowers are going in one direction. So when I put this together, whichever part you want to be the top, you don't attach these tabs to. I'm going to attach these tabs to this part because I want the flowers going in the right direction on the top. So. I am just putting the box together like this. And I'll stand it up. We'll go on the inside and get that nice and stuck. And so this is actually the lid. And now I'll take my glue. We'll put some glue here and some glue here. put our box together. Get this one nice and stuck. And now we can take our lid, place it over the box, and we have box number two, which will go on top of this one. So now we'll do the last one, and this will be the bottom of my box. So I am going to add some glue Looks like I need to refill my glue bottle. We'll take these pieces and basically we're joining them to make sure that they're nice and even. And then I'll stand it up. And now this is the bottom of the box. So I want to make sure that I take these tabs and I join them to the bottom of the box. 
So I am just joining them like that, making sure that I have it nice and even. Stand it up, get that stuck, and then I'll do the same thing here. Get it nice and even, and then I'll go on the inside to work my stick. Now I can take my glue and I'm going to place my glue right here and we will get those corners matched nice and even. Match this end nice and even. Place it down to get it nice and stuck. And now we have a lid for the smallest box. And there we have our three boxes for the tower and they really look cute. So I'm just going to bring in a piece of scrap. I'm not going to glue it down, but let's say you want it to reinforce the base of your box. And then I would cut out coordinated pieces of reinforcement that are one eighth of an inch smaller this way and this way. So we know that this is nine by four. So my piece would be three and seven eighths by eight and seven eighths. And I would just place it in the box. If you wanted to add some tape or glue, you can, but that is how you get the piece sizes for the interior. So the reinforcement piece for the large box, start out with the piece that is eight and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. Trim it if you need to. For your medium sized box, start out with the piece that is seven and seven eighths by three and three eighths. And then for the small box, start out with the piece that is five and seven eighths by two and three eighths, and then trim those reinforcement pieces as needed. But I'm not going to make reinforcement pieces for mine because we're just demoing the construction of our box. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and make our bow. So just like before, we're going to curl all of our one by five inch pieces. So for this part, I am just going to use my tape runner to join all of my loops together. So I'm going to go ahead and just add some tape to the bottom. Join these like this. I'll do the rest of these off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so I have all of my loops and I have made the necessary trim to them with the exception of this one. So I am just trimming off at an angle that just makes it easier to put the bow together. So I am going to take my eight loops, add some tape, and just start making my bow. So all I'm doing is adding tape to the bottom. You can do this with glue. You can do this with hot glue if you want. And for the bottom layer, I'm just putting it down depending on how you look at it, and either an X formation or a plus. So I'm going to take some more tape. Now we'll start the second row, and I'm just going to place that loop in between where I have these openings. I'm only doing eight. You can do more if you want. For me, eight is a good enough amount to give me the look on that bow that I want. This is also a very easy way to make one of those last minute bows that we always seem to need and don't have. So there's my bow. So all I'm going to do now is take my piercer and just go right in the center of that bow take some work because you're going through layers and then I'm just going to make sure I have a wide enough opening on the bow for my brad to go through so let me take this brad and see if it'll go through no problem and it will so now that I have my brad in I'll just open the brad with the base of my piercer flip it over and now I can just reshape it by just fluffing up my loops. And so there is my nice sweet bow.
to make those little curly cues, I am going to take a pencil and I'll just take the paper strips that I cut at one quarter by 12 and we are just going to wrap them around. And it's amazing how easy it is to manipulate paper. So take that off. I have number one. We're going to go ahead and just do that second one. And depending on how loose you want it, you can hold it tight. I am making this one just a little bit looser. And there is the second one. I'm actually going to stretch this one out just a little bit. We want it to be as tight of a curl. So now I'm going to take my double stick tape and I'm going to start stacking my boxes. So I am just going to take my tape and I'm just going to run a couple of strips. And then I will look at this to see if I have it nice and straight. This is a repositionable tape, so if you need to adjust it, you can. And then I'll do the same thing on this one. You can also tie these down with ribbon. I just decided to use my repositionable tape to get the look that I wanted. So now all I need to do is figure out how I want to place down my curly cues and they're going to be so easy to place. I am going to just take a piece of it and straighten it out and add some tape to it. And then I can take it and just pretty much place it wherever you want it because you can always go back and sort of add just a little more curl to it if you want. Then I'm going to take this piece and I want it on this side. So I'll straighten out that piece. Add just a little bit of tape. We're going to put that right there. And so now I can take my bow and I am just going to add some of my double stick tape to the back. I'll put a piece going across the brad base. Peel away. And then I'll add a second piece going in the opposite direction. And now I have my tape on the bottom. I'm going to bring this in and we're just going to place it down. And I'll use my stylus here just to go in on that bottom. Make sure we have it nice and stuck. And y'all look at how delightful this is. This is paper. Paper bow, paper curly cues, paper boxes. And these are the things that we're making for ourselves. So if you like to give a lot of gifts, go ahead and pre-cut all of your pieces and then just pack them away until you need to make this trio or maybe you need to make just one single box. You don't have to make all three. Go ahead and cut out some strips for your curly cues. Go ahead and cut out the bows. But I love how this turned out. I love this color combination just as much as I love this one. These are so festive and it's not a lot of work. These are perfect. If you're hosting a baby shower or bridal shower, don't fret over favors. Why not send everyone home with a trio like this? You can have little goodies in each one, but you don't have to have a whole bunch of different favors sitting out on the favor table. Everyone would love to go home with something like this. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed today's awesome project because I have. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.